Green Gold, uh, in the last uh, decade, we have produced a lot of uh, successful TV shows in India. Uh, and of course, the most successful uh, show so far has been Chota Beam. Besides Chota Beam, so far we have produced shows like Mighty Raju, Krishna and Balram, Krishna movie series, Chot Police and Love Kush, uh, uh, besides Vikram Betal, which was our debut. Uh, Green Gold in the last uh, decade, besides just being producer of TV, we have also ventured into licensing and merchandising. And today we have about 30 stores uh, uh, which sell exclusive merchandise of uh, green gold products across India and internationally also our shows are going on in air in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Mauritius uh, and a few more countries in the Indian subcontinent. On May 3, 2013, uh, we are launching Chota Beam's second theatrical movie. Uh, the name of the movie is Chota Beam and the Throne of Bali. Uh, it's a 107 minute film uh, in theatres and uh, we, uh, it is uh, uh, directed by me and I'm happy to tell you that the movie is about action, adventure and comedy and a lot of entertainment for kids. That, uh, the movie has been designed especially for little children. Uh, we made sure that uh, they're not scared too much or same way we try to make them laugh a lot. There are a lot of funny uh, mo uh, scenes in this movie and the music uh, by Sunil Kaushik is also fantastic. We have about four uh, songs in the movie and uh, all of them are very entertaining and I'm sure that kids will dance to these tunes. Uh, the basic storyline is that uh, Bhim and his team are invited to Bali to attend the crown prince ceremony of uh, Arjun who is a new character we are introducing in this movie. Uh, so this uh, ceremony is happening in Bali which is an island in Indonesia. So Bhim and team travel to Indonesia and by the time they travel to Bali, uh, it is they discover that uh, the kingdom of Bali has been actually uh, uh, captured by evil Rangda. So by the time these guys go, uh, the kingdom of Bali is in trouble. However, Arjun manages to escape and he alliances with Bhim to take on the enemy which is Rangda and in the end of course Bhim and Arjun uh, together form a great team and uh, defeat uh, Rangda and recapture Bali. After the success of, uh, movie, of the first movie which was uh, last year we did, we are very thrilled that uh, Bali is being released for the right time. We were worried about schedules and everything but we managed to re release uh, at the right time and summer is a fantastic time for children to go to the theatres. So we are very glad that we are releasing in about uh, 500 theatres across India and uh, in, in this one and about uh, probably about 60 to 70 theatres in Andhra Pradesh alone. So for an animated film this is a record, a new record and uh, so far uh, uh, the first movie of Chota Beam uh, last year which was debu uh, debuted has been the highest net crosser for a Hindi animated film. So we are really looking forward that uh, we can break a we can make some new records and uh, this time we are releasing uh, Chota Beam and Throne of Bali in three languages. Hindi would be the of course the primary language and Telugu and Tamil also we are releasing. Uh, with Hindi we are uh, Hindi and Tamil we are releasing with Yashraj films. For uh, Telugu we are working with Geeta Arts and we are, uh, they are distributing this film in entire Andhra Pradesh. The strength of Green Gold is to create its own shows, uh, that is IP it is called intellectual property. So while any animation company can follow two models, one is they can create their own products which is called the IP model or you can work on service model, that is an outsourced uh, model. Uh, while majority of the companies uh, in India that started uh, in the last 10 years focus on service model, we specialize only on, outs uh, on IP model and uh, although we would, uh, although outsourced uh, thing, uh, we do not have anything against it, but is that we are not good at that and we are, we are fantastic in creating our own uh, IP. I think all of the shows that we have uh, designed so far or produced so far are all um, the IP is owned by us and we have uh, so far successful in producing uh, shows like Chota Bhim, Mighty Raju, Krishna Balram, Chor Police, uh, Love Kush and so on. Last year when we tried to release the first uh, movie of Chota Bhim, uh, we went to a lot of film distributors and everybody said no except one company and uh, we released uh, with them. 
this year we went to about another 10 companies and everyone said yes so this year we were able to choose so the marketing challenges were many last year when we released the first uh, movie when uh, we were uh, we had to convince the distributors that this movie will work in the uh, Indian box office so uh, it was a great challenge for us this year the the challenges have been there but have been on a different scale so we've been figuring out how to bring more kids to theatres because uh, uh, during summers of course kids are not at school how do we market and reach these kids uh, was a great challenge so we still we hope that we got it right we are advertising in we are doing lot of events uh, we are doing events in the malls and lots of uh, kids uh, stores we are doing uh, events at uh, at malls then uh, uh, multiplexes and uh, so on but besides just events we are also uh, running contests in newspapers we are con running contests on websites and we are also doing lot of uh, uh, unique shows on television and so we hope that we catch the kids attention and we, we would love to see this movie as a rocking hit. See Chota Beam was created uh, by a great inner desire for me uh, from the childhood. Uh, in it, when I was a kid, I was watching a lot of TV uh, TV shows such as Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Spider-Man uh, and so on. So whenever I, I inquired, I want to meet these characters, uh, my father told me that you will have to go to US to meet these characters. So I always was greatly disappointed. Why, I mean, why don't the superheroes live in India? So I, later on as I grew up, I realized that uh, most of these things are produced out of uh, India and in India there is a huge opportunity but no one is catering to that market. So uh, the reason I took up and started this Green Gold is to serve the Indian kids with shows that connect with them. And Chota Beam is one such creation which was uh, created by a deep desire inside me for uh, making a Indian animated superhero. So I think we have been successful in creating Chota Beam. Um, again, uh, creating a, a hero, uh, you need to define a lot of things. So we had taken almost five years to produce a show like Bhim and it, it, to sell a character like uh, Bhim, it was, we had a tough time. It took us almost five years to uh, produce a show like Bhim and successfully market it. I want to lead Green Gold to become another Pixar or Walt Disney of the world. Today we are successful in making Green Gold the Walt Disney of India, uh, but I think for me it is more important that we achieve global recognition and achieve global success. I want to make Indians proud that a show that is created out of India or a movie that has been created out of India should be appreciated uh, globally across the globe. In this uh, world of new age cinema, I think that that day is not far away.